and I think it probably is that you were a finalist in Miss Ghana. Yeah, Miss Ghana UK. Yeah. Oh, Miss Ghana, don't, don't narrow it down. Oh, well, Just, <laughs> you know, let's keep it big. How long yeah. ago was that? Um, I don't mean that to be a disrespectful question. No, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> 20 years, no, about six years ago, yeah. when I was a teenager, young. And how, how close did you get, do you know? I got to sixth place and I won a trophy, don't laugh, for Miss Personality. <laughs> Why wouldn't we laugh? In case that means the ugly one who's really bubbly, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> I really don't think that's what it means at all. And Dipak knows that he has to uh, come up with this game, otherwise we'll be saying goodbye, OK? We move on and here's our next board. Well, we have a flashing B, but that is where we're going to have to pause for now. We'll continue with this second game at the beginning of the next show. Until then, thanks for watching. Goodbye. know Vista print for business cards but did you know we also print that and that oh, and that menu and here of course we make print that lets people wear your brand take it stick it carry anything in it so remember with Vista print the print abilities are endless you can do this Free. timing is everything Perform better on Sundays. Get half price electricity 11 a.m. till 4 p.m. with Peak Save from British Gas. Being a landlord with multiple properties isn't easy. You've done all the right checks, but sometimes life deals your tenant a bad hand, leaving them unable to pay the rent and you worrying everything will fall down like a house of cards. Adding Direct Line's rent guarantee to each of your residential properties when you buy or renew a landlord policy is like having an ace up your sleeve, covering you for unpaid rent and legal fees until they move out. That's playing your cards just right. Search Direct Line Landlord Insurance. The bar I keep the costs low by not having fancy sets and scenery or A-list actors. So that's why they hired me. Matt from Macclesfield. <laughs> you see, with Labara, it's the same reliable network, flexible monthly plans, with prices starting from just... Five pounds a month! <laughs> Labara. Smarter. Smarter. You're the one that I want. With dinnerware from £3, find everything you want, all under one roof at Donnell, the home of homes. At Simply Safe, we design award-winning home security systems to protect what matters most to you. Cutting-edge technology at affordable prices, smart motion detectors, powerful sirens, entry sensors, outdoor and indoor cameras, easy-to-use smart security that protects your home and your family with the option of 24-7 professional monitoring for less than a pound a day. Advanced, affordable, adaptable home security. There's no safe like Simply Safe. My lips are my musical instrument. They need to be hydrated. But with that matte finish I love, it's hard. Until now. Avon Hydromatic Lipstick. The world's first matte lipstick with a hydrating core and hyaluronic acid. Avon, embrace your power. Shop with your Avon rep or now find Avon at Superdrug in selected stores and online. All talent to set, please. This is your final call. On. What are we waiting for? Oh, lovely. That's nice, that guy's. Oh.
One more coat. Is he always like this? Yeah, he always takes ages. So vain. Jill Scott and Mo Gilligan join the gang in brand new A League of Their Own. New episodes every Wednesday on Sky Max. We are hashtag blessed to have the world's most successful game show right here. Buzz in for Classic Millionaire. Weeknights at 10 on Challenge. Thanks very much indeed for watching the programme. Great crowd in tonight from all over the world. We've got them in tonight. Superb audience. Thanks very much indeed for watching this uh, well into the series. Now September, well, children gone back to school. Now all you youngsters, as an ex-school teacher, work hard because you will feel the benefits, I promise you. You know, there's a rumour going around that I got sacked as a maths teacher because I couldn't add up. Well, I don't believe in all that. Now, let me tell you, we've got three dark players and three brains tonight and all seven of them are going to play bullseye. <laughs> Give them a nice round of applause. <laughs> Nice and settled. Yep. All right. Great crowd in, haven't we? Yep. All hooligans. Yep. All hooligans. <laughs> you're from Darfield near Barnsley. Yep. Brother and sister in law. Hey? Trevor, you've got a nickname. <clears throat> now, what's your nickname? Parrot. Parrot? Mm -hmm. Is it what why is that? Because I'm always repeating things. Got over it. <laughs> Just about. We got over it now. Just about. Just, Just about. about. Just about. That'll be all. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you, what do you do for a living? Uh, a miner. You're a miner? Yep. What was, um, a parrot is a nickname and a miner. And you, you, are you going to be a budgie next week? <laughs> <laughs> You're a good player at darts, aren't you? Good dart player. Uh, not, no, not bad. <laughs> it's, it's always difficult to ask somebody that, isn't it? But you've beaten some good players, haven't you? Yep. You play a lot in bounds. It's quite big in bounds in the sport, yeah, isn't it? Is. Yeah, it's good. Joyce, are you into quizzes? Yeah. You do a lot of quiz around the pubs, don't you? Because it's very big in bounds. The quiz leagues, isn't yeah. it? Do you, do you play for a few pubs? No, just local pub. Just a local pub, that's fine. You've, you've won a few prizes, haven't you? Just a few pints of beer. How many pints did you win? <laughs> twelve. 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 Was it twelve gallons, wasn't twelve it? Gal oh, twelve gallons, twelve ninety-six pints. pints. Have you have you finished them all now? Yeah. <laughs> all gone now, have yeah. you? That's very good. And you and what you're a housewife, is that right? Now I'm, yeah. Now you are. What did you do before you were Worked you were married? In, biscuit in the bis biscuit factory before you were married. So you had a nibble before you were married as well. <laughs> yeah. Have a good night with us, Joyce. You know where to go, don't you? We'll see you in a minute. Off you go, Joyce. Well done. And who have we got here? This is Martin. How are you, Martin? And Steve? Well done, boys. Well done indeed for settling down so well. Now, you're from Martin. You're from Kensworth. That's right, yeah. In, that's Dunstable, isn't it? It's near Dunstable, yeah. That, it's near Whipsnade, isn't it? Yeah, very close to Whipsnade. So it's about two miles away. Yeah, because the traffic will be terrible there, won't it? Yeah, it clogs up right through the village. Yeah. You can't move in. That's or something. right. It'll be all the zebras crossing. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Now, you're engaged, Martin. That's right, yeah. Who are you engaged to? Sandra. Sandra. Do you want to give her away? Is she with you tonight? She's sitting right behind me. Somewhere. She's somewhere in here. Is she yeah. so, oh, it is, oh, I can see She's her. Hiding She's hiding a pretty girl. You, hey, you'd be better with a spin dryer than in there. You? <laughs> <laughs> you both work together, is that right? That's right, both work for the same firm. Yeah. What do you do? I'm a butchery supervisor. I see. And, 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 and Sandra works? She's a meat packer. She's a meat packer? Oh, so when you get married, you'll have a joint income. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the good things, aren't they? <laughs> Steve, from Dunstable as well. And, you, and you, it's Steve Kite. Yeah. Well, you'll be a high flyer. <laughs> and your job, what, what are you involved with, Steve? Uh, car hire. Is it your company? Or no, the... no, I'm just a manager there. You hire the cars That's out. right. Well, that's fine. That's very... Are you married? No. no. Not engaged? No. Not no, not bothered. Well, with a name like Kite, you don't want to be on a piece of string to anybody. Do you? <laughs> Have a good night with us, Steve. Off you go. Settle down. We'll see you in a second. How are you, madam? All right, thank you. Oh, well, that's a lovely accent. That nice. Hello, Mike. How are you? Nice to see you. And, and you're from, let's just get this right now, you're from, oh, oh further up. It's, is it, it's Stockton on Tees now. Right. You're, you're a good do it yourself man. 
Yeah, the world's worst, <laughs> just really, about, I would think. Have you had some bad? Have you really had I've, some bad? Anything tips? I can put together will come apart of its own accord. <laughs> <without Yeah>. any... <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. I, I know the feeling. I'm not good yeah. at all myself. The original and... sloping shelf. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. It's like... <laughs> Carol, you're a good darts player, aren't you? Now, you can say this without being modest at all. You play for the county, don't you? Yes. And you've got ambitions to, to play for your country, haven't you? Yes. Are you, you're expecting the call sometime, are you, do you think? I hope so. <laughs> You've a good vehicle tonight for you to show the world what you can do, aren't you? That's right. You married? Yes. And you're married to your husband. And what does he do for a living? He's a burner. He's a burner? I'm married to a burner. <laughs> <laughs> Cakes, everything. She burns everything. <laughs> do you know, everything she touches burns. I've got a worse sun oil in bed. Uh, <laughs> come on, be quicker than that. <laughs> Michael, off you go. We'll see you in a minute. Fine. All right. Let's give them a nice round of applause. All our contestants. Great. Well done. All of you. Let's get on with it. It's uh, bonus category board. You know it by now. Round the board categories, and in each category bonus areas, thirty pound, fifty pound, one hundred pounds to be won by the dart player if he hits the subject chosen by his partner. If he's very skillful and he hits the bullseye, he can win two hundred pounds. <laughs> Well, well, well. Just to remind you, once a subject's been hit, it drops out of the game. All right, you've got that now. We're all ready to play the game. The order was established before we came in. All our contestants are sitting there waiting to play the game. Just a reminder, the questions in the first round are worth £30 each. Let's get on with it then. Come on, Joyce, nice and steady. Let's pick a subject for Trevor. Showbiz, please, Jim. Showbiz, my love, you shall have. Come on, Trevor, showbiz we're looking for. Good start. £50 you've got. For a further £30, Joyce, who was the last member of the group to join the Beatles? Ringo Starr. Ringo Starr is right. Good girl. Well done. A nice steady start for you there, Joyce. Steve, for Martin. History, please. History. Come on, Martin. History your partner wants. <laughs> it's not. It's gone into books. So there's no bonus. But here's a question for £30 for you, Steve. Don't worry about it. It's very early days. Here we go. In the James Bond books, in the James Bond book, I'm sorry, what was the name of Goldfinger's oriental servant? Remember the book, don't you? His oriental servant. There's no light on, so... <coughs> well, that's ended all your problems. It was Odd Job. Do you remember it? With the bowler hat? Yes, right. Mike, for Carol. Britain, please, Jim. Britain, we'll try it for you, sir. Come on, Carol. Britain, we'd like. Oh, it's gone into words. So, here we go for £30 for you, Mike. What is wrong with you if you're suffering from mal de mer? Seasickness. Seasickness gets you £30. That's fine. The end of the first round, Joyce and Trevor with £80. Steve and Martin still to score, and Mike and Carol with £30. That's not bad. Give them a round. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, uh, our contestants starting to smile a bit now. We've got settled in now. Here we go. Questions £50 here. A little bit more difficult. Fewer categories. The ones that are lit, they're the ones you can choose from, Joyce. What do you think about it for Trevor? Faces, please, Jim. Faces. We'll try for you, Joyce. No problem. Right in the middle. £50. For another £50, Joyce, look at your monitor. Whose face is that? No idea. No idea. There's a light on. Michael, you can have £50 if you can tell it's me. Barbara Cartland. It's not. You surprise me. It's Dame Margaret Rutherford. We carry on. Steve, for Martin. Try history again, please. We'll try history again. No problem. £50. For another £50, Steve, here we go. Which British Prime Minister established the welfare state and the National Health Service? And there's a light on. Attlee. Clement Attlee gets you £50. Well done. You're on the way. Excellent. Mike for Carol. Spelling, please, Jim. Spelling. We shall try that, Carol. Spelling we like. It's not. It's faces. And sadly, the category's gone, so we can't ask the question. So at the end of that round, well, that was fairly quick, wasn't it? Joyce and Trevor, £130. Steve and Martin, £100. Mike and Carol with £30. Give them a little bit of encouragement. <laughs> Moving on. Now, very, very close, this. Very close. £100 a question here. All to play for. Categories are fewer. We've got places, sport, affairs, Britain and spelling. Come on, Joyce, for the last time in this part of the game. Sport, please, Jim. Sport. Come on, Trevor. Sport we'd like. £50. 
Very consistent there. He's done well for you there, Joyce, hasn't he? Here we go. This is for another hundred pounds. Well, to a lady. Who was the first boxer to defeat Muhammad Ali in a professional fight? And there's a light on. Joe Fraser. Is right. <laughs> Good girl. Well done. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> It was a bit unkind then, too, wasn't it? George paused a bit for you then. Come on, Steve for Martin. Uh, Britain, please. Britain. We'll try Britain for you. £50. For another £100, Steve, two British brothers built up the largest cocoa and chocolate factory in the world and created a garden city near Birmingham. What is the name of the garden city? Shh, 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 shh. There's a light on. I'm offering it to you, Michael. Bourneville. Bourneville is right. Gives you £100, which puts you well in with a shout for survival here, Michael, because it's your turn. Affairs, please, Jim. Affairs. Come on, Carol. Affairs with like. It's right for £50. For a further £100 now, Mike. And this is to stay with us. This is to stay with us. Look at your monitors for a newsreel clip. That is Prince Charles in February 1986 at the 150th anniversary celebrations of the independence of Texas. For £100, independence from what? I independent from, the, from uh, Mexico. It's right, from the Mexican government. We've got to take it. Give you £100. <laughs> well done. So at the end of that part of the game, we've got Joyce and Trevor with £280, Steve and Martin with £150, Mike and Carol £280, which means we've got to say cheerio to Steve and Martin. In you come, give them a round of applause. <laughs> well, you're, you're crossing yourself, aren't you? He really was annoyed with himself there. It's £150. There's £100. One, two, three, four... £150. Take that with our compliments, lads. You've been great. I know you've had a good day anyway, haven't you? <coughs> Take the money. There you are. And your bullies. They're worth a fortune. Honest. Thanks, right. Thanks very much indeed. Nice Thanks. to have had you on the show, boys. Martin and Steve. Off you go. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Right. It'd be great. Great. Yeah. Tell you what. If they can't do well with this audience, they can't do well with, with any at all. They're the best in the world. Let's get on with the game. We've got to lose another couple now. It's going to take us about three minutes, because here we ask the two remaining dart players to compete in three rounds of darts against each other and win a round. The highest score in the round wins for his partner a question. And that's the, that's the value of the question, in fact, the winning score. So, both of you, it's pounds for points. Off you go. Come and stand with me, my love, here. Listen to Tony. OK, Trevor. <laughs> Five. It's trouble 20. And 20, that's 85, so a good start, Trev. Right? <laughs> right, Carol, 85 to be, look. It's one. Five. Another five, 11. So Trevor takes the first round with 85. Yes, quite a valuable question as well, this. Joyce, it's 85 pounds worth, and it, uh, well, it takes you nicely into the league, doesn't it? When Robert Burns wrote an ode to the great chieftain of the pudding race, to what was he referring? Agis. Well said, Agis. <laughs> 85 pound. So you've got 365 pounds playing 280, all to play for, back to Tony. It's round two, it's Trevor to throw. Five. Unlucky. And treble 20, so 65. Good recovery, Trevor. Right, Carol? 65 to me. Let's take your time. It's 20. 20. Another 20, 60. Just not enough. 65 to Trevor. Another 65 pounds for you, Joyce, here. Can nearly make you safe. Listen carefully to this. What is the name of the instrument fitted to commercial vehicles to record mileage, speed, and a record of the stops? Tachograph. Tachograph is right, or tachometer. Exactly right. Gives us £430, playing 218 for last time in this game. Back to Tony. Final round, trouble throwing. Trouble 20. 20. And 20. 100. Well done, Trevor. Carol, 100 to beat. Five. 
20. And 20. 45, so the final round to Trevor. Not a lot of pressure for you here, Joyce. Listen carefully to this. From which fruit is the Yugoslav brandy Slivovitz made? Cherries. I can offer it for £45, Mike. Limes. It's not. In fact, it's plums. Never mind, at the end of that part of the game, or that particular game this evening, we've got Joyce and Trevor with £430. We've got to say cheerio to Mike and Carol, but they've got £280. Give them a round of applause. <laughs> <laughs> now then, look at these. A bullseye tankard for the gentleman, there we are, and a super bullseye goblet for the lady. Really is nice, that little bully emblem. We thought for the lady something rather more delicate. There we are, and here we've got your two bullies with the darts. Take those with our compliments. You're taking home, what did we say, 280 pounds. 100, 200, I'll count the 80 out in the break. About two minutes. See you there. <laughs> earning cash back today sign up to quidco get cash back every time you shop on over 5000 brands it always pays to quidco Family life. It's made of ups and downs and those little moments. But should the unthinkable happen to you? Life insurance from Legal and General can help look after monthly bills, the roof over their heads, childcare costs, and most importantly, your family. Because no one protects more families in the UK than us. Premiums start from £5 a month and they never rise. Plus, there's a £100 gift card after you apply. Legal and General. Ensure life goes on. Whatever you need to ask about cancer, Macmillan's free support line is just a call away. Hello, Macmillan. Whether it's money or work worries. Am I going to lose my job? Getting on with life. Can I still go abroad? Get insurance? Or just need someone to listen? How do I tell them? Our specialist advisors are here to help as often as you need them. Whatever you need to ask, cancer, work, money, life, call us now on 0808 134 3000. At the Cotswold Company, we know your table hosts many memories. That's why we build our furniture to stand the test of time with traditional craftsmanship. Along with our beautiful range of tableware, glassware and accessories, you can bring your home to life with the perfect dining table. The Cotswold Company. Discover our range at your nearest store or at cotswoldco.com. Pets rest a little easier knowing they have Pet Plan insurance. They can relax knowing 97% of claims are paid and that we'll never charge more for claiming. Sign up today and save 10% at petplan.co.uk. You probably know Vistaprint for business cards, but did you know we also print that? And that. Oh, and that menu. And here. Of course. We make print that lets people wear your brand. Take it. Stick it. Carry anything in it. So remember, with Vistaprint, the printabilities are endless. Playing bingo at Tombola is about being part of our community and having fun. And to keep it fun, most of our players use our safe play tools to set their limits and stay in control. I've got a weekly deposit limit just so I can keep within my own budget. The app and the site just gives you so much support, like your limits and everything. Keep it fun, chat with friends and play safely at Tombola. With Labara, it's the same reliable network. Flexible monthly plans and 5 gig for £5. Labara. Smarter. Some people come to escape. They come here looking for something. I always have a memorable time. Always. This is not the end. I'm going to build something bigger, faster, wilder. And I'm going to do it from in here, where you are. 
mission is gonna cost you dearly. Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. Available now in Sky Store. Welcome back to Part 2 of Bullseye. <clears throat> Here we are. Bronze bully. All the professionals who compete on this series are going for that fella. Highest score takes it away at the end of the series. And of course, we know, earn a lot of money for charity. 301 points or more. We double that and give it to the charity chosen by our finalists. We've got a gentleman here tonight who came to prominence in 1983 in the professional dark world. You probably remember his meteoric rise to fame. They call him Babyface. Please welcome tonight as he throws for charity Keith Deller. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Keith, best of luck. First of the nine. 20. 20. And treble 20. 100. Good start, Keith. <laughs> 20. Treble 20. And 20. Another 100. <laughs> Going well, Keith. 200. Three darts to go. 20. 20. And 20, but it's 260, Keith. Well done, Keith. Thanks, well done. Brilliant. Keith, well done. £260, that's my well, yeah. We were all there, weren't we? Then we thought it might just Let's go well the first few shots. Excellent. Listen, young sir, you're still looking as young and, and fit as ever. <laughs> to what do you attribute this this eternal youth? Is it clean living? Well, I've started going to the gym three times a week at my local gym, so I think if I can keep training, it might keep me young. I don't know. And it also keeps you slim, doesn't it? It's a great temptation. That's right. To start. start is a hard game where you're on the road a lot, so you need to try and do a bit of fitness. And you eat the wrong sort of stuff, don't you? In motor. At the wrong time at night. That's <laughs> absolutely late at night, that's right. Listen, you were there, you were a superstar, weren't you? One of the youngest we'd had, really. Have we got anybody, anybody of, of that age coming up? There's a lot of young players that are coming through, and the hardest thing is they've got to go into tournaments and get some experience, yeah. and then try and qualify in tournaments to get on TV, and then once you do that, and you're on your way. That's good. Well, you did superbly, didn't you? And you stayed there, which is marvellous, isn't it? You're still ranked that's eight, right. aren't you? Great. Herbert, number seven, I think. Oh, sorry, one, one, two. It's, a lot of, it's still number one, it's a hard way to go as yet, but yeah. I'll keep trying. Because they're all good up there, aren't they? There's a lot of good players, but yeah. there's a lot of good players that are not in the top eight. I know, yeah. Well, 260 pounds for charity, a great couple we've got. Josh and Trevor, come on, all the way from Barnes. In you come here and meet this lad who's got the 260 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Is that all right? Yeah, yeah. 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 he did well. He thought he was going to do it, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. 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 Where's it going? Tell us where the, the money's uh, going, Trevor. It's going large more span on the audience, Sheffield, for paraplegic athletes well, to get them equipment. To get them equipment to maybe get them better and back yeah, on the track again. Yeah, to get them to tracks, yeah. Absolutely. Keith, always a pleasure to have you on the programme. Ladies and gentlemen, you. Keith Deller. Thank you. Right, you ready? Here's my board. Follow me. Come on. You really can't lose now. Whatever happens, you can't lose, because uh, it's bullish prize board. Your money's safe anyway. Here we are, black segments and red segments. But the red segments are what we are interested in. Look at this. In one. There's a cool character. It's an upright freezer. In two. A soft and cuddly Scots guards bear. And no jokes about his underwear. In three. And now a rhyme that's really quite scandalous. Try and win this crystal tantalus. In four. There'll be more time to laze on that luscious lawn with this really useful petrol mower. In five. Maybe you won't write love letters, but you'll love writing letters with these matching gold pens. In six. A boon for the busy housewife, this splendid food processor. In seven. Have a snack in the sun on this cheerful patio furniture. In eight. A useful prize to take away and come home with a set of matching luggage. And bully special prize. There'll be magic moments to treasure galore with this video camera recorder. OK. All right. You know where they are. Now then. Nine prizes. You heard them all. You know where they are. We're giving you nine darts. Six for the dart player and three for the non-dart player. Little point to remind you, keep out of the black and in the red. Nothing for this game in two in a bed. You know what that means? Once you've hit a, sub hit a prize, don't go back there. Otherwise, you lose it. Tony, help him out, sir. Yeah. OK, Trevor. <laughs> Work out what you want. And the best of luck. That's red. It's number four. Well done. That's the petrol lawnmower. 
That's red number two. That's the cuddly bear. And that's the bullseye! You've got the bullseye, you've got the bullseye, you've got the bullseye. You're, you're, you're on your way, just relax. You're on your way. In you go. Stand there. Nice and steady. Be careful, time. Joyce. Just take your time. That's black. It's unlucky. That's black. That's not so bad because oh, Trevor's doing the damage. <laughs> Go on, Joyce, tell me. Okay, Trevor. Red, number one. You've won the upright freezer. Just black. But that's red, it's number six. And brilliant. you've won the food processor. You've done very well. You've run the upright freezer, the cuddly bear, the petrol lawnmower, the food processor, and Bully's special prize, the video camera recorder. So you've done very, very well. Do you think so? <laughs> Super. Excellent. Now, listen very carefully. Your prizes are what we're talking about. Your money, your £430 is safe, and the 260 that Keith got for your unit in Sheffield, that's sent at the end of the programme. Your prizes are what you have to think about. Would you like to gamble those prizes against tonight's star prize, which is hiding behind Bully? Now, that means you take the lot, or you can take your prizes and run. You've got the time it takes the board to revolve to tell me what you'd like to do. 101 or more with six darts. Well, come on. What do you th what, help the audience, would you? He's a good player. What, what, what do you think? Well, well... Well, tell me now. We've had a great day, Jim. We're going to deck them and run. <laughs> I, think, I think you're absolutely right. I do want you. Well done, Jim. Stay there. Joyce, lovely goblet for you there. Your bullseye tank of Trev. The money's in there. There's the money. £430. There are your bullies. Take them with our compliments. Your prizes, we'll see you get them as soon as it's physically possible. Take that, Joyce, and your little goblet and your tank of there, Trev. Thanks very much indeed. You've been superb. Off that way you go. We'll see you after. Maybe we'll have a little drink. Excellent. Well done. <laughs> Will you, do you remember the couple we had from Stockton? They had £280 in the hand. Let's see what they're going to do with it. Welcome them back. Carolyn Burton and Mike Morton. In you come. <laughs> now then. She's holding that money there, £280. Are you going to gamble that for tonight's star prize? We've had a great day, but the way I'm playing, we've got to take the money. You're going to take the money? Well, now, it could be very, very sensible. Michael, thank you very much indeed. And Carol, lovely to have you with us. Go on. Off you go. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> well, there we are. First time this see Martin Kennedy and Steve Kite from Bedfordshire. They had £150. What are they going to do with that? Let's welcome them back. Martin and Steve. In you come, lads. In there, sir. Now then. <laughs> You thought you'd gone, didn't you? You thought that was it. 150 quid. I, I, well, I, we're not going to discuss it, are we? No. If you win whatever's behind there, you get this back. You know that, don't you? All right. The best of luck. Non-dark player first. 101 or more, we'll take it. Up to, up to the hockey, the non-dark player. Steve, just take your time. Do you know where you're throwing from? Yes, sir. You all right from eight foot? Yeah. All right. It's 101 or more for tonight's star prize. It's nice and steady. Best of luck. 12, 18, and 1. So that's 31. Martin, that leaves you 70 or more for tonight's star prize. 20, 5. Oh, and look here, just 45 well, a fraction away. That's the gamble. Well, there we are. You you better have a quick look at what you would have won. Give them a round of applause for having a try. Have a look at it. Come with me, boys. That's it. Stay there. You're right. Stay there. Well, the superb caravan would have slept five. With 150 pounds, I think you're right to have a go at that. Let me speak to you at home. With 15 million people in Europe watching you at home, would you get 101 in six? We perhaps think it's not as easy as it looks. Thanks very much for watching Bullseye. See you next week, because remember, you can't beat a bit of bullet. Bye. Bye. of hate goes on. Ahoy there! As we continue to meet new friends. Did you really come on this boat? Uh, don't be ridiculous, I flew in business class. Would you shoot?